Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy and welcome to my healthy, glowing, firming, wrinkle reducing skincare routine. I'm doing this in October 2022. I always like to put out a new skincare routine around the change of the seasons and where it's getting colder, my heat's been coming on, the air is getting drier and we're going into the dry skin, irritated skin season of fall and winter. I wanted to show you the changes that I've been doing in my skincare routine. So in this video, I'm going to do my morning skincare routine and then I'll do my evening skincare routine next week for you in a separate video just because I don't want to, to get too long. You know I have a lot to say about skincare. So I hope that you are as excited about this video as I am because while I feel like a lot doesn't change in my skincare routine from year to year, I do have some changes in this one and I do have a new discount code for you guys and some exciting things to tell you about. So I am really psyched for this video. If you are psyched for this video too, then go ahead and give it a like. If you love talking to skincare, give it a like as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. What I always like to tell you first is a little bit about my skin. So I am 60 years old. I just turned 60 about a month and a half ago. I have combo skin. It's not as combo as it used to be. It used to be pretty oily in the T-zone. Um, now it's just like slightly oily in the T-zone little dry around my mouth and normal for the rest of my face. So here it is, 60 year old skin, no makeup. Um, wanted to show you my skin today so that you can see. I mean, of course I'm using a ring light because the lighting in here is terrible. The acoustics in here are terrible as well. Sorry about the kind of tinny sound, but we're in my bathroom because that's where all the skincare is. When I turned 50, I was really upset with the quality of my skin. I was noticing the big major signs of aging and I wasn't very happy about it. Didn't really know anything about ingredients, didn't know where to turn, who to talk to, where to get information. And of course there was no information out there on YouTube back then. There were no dermatologists, there were no plastic surgeons, there were no people sharing good skincare info. And so, at that point, I decided that I needed to research it and find out for myself what ingredients you could put on topically that would actually help your skin. And it turns out that there were a handful of ingredients that were actually proven to work. And so I loaded them all into my skincare routine and I started using it kind of as an experiment to see what would happen. And here I am 10 years later and I can tell you that for sure, the things that I put in my skincare routine that I've used consistently over time have really worked to make my skin look better, to make it look firmer, healthier, glowier. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that I have a multi-step skincare routine. I use a lot of different products because I'm trying to get all those proven ingredients into my skincare and that is job number one. Job number two is to use them in a way that they don't irritate my skin. And so if you're starting out with a skincare routine like this, you might need to introduce the product slowly, not all at once. I do have a whole other video on how to start with my skincare routine and I will link it for you right up here. And I also have a video explaining any procedures that I've had done. I can link that one up here for you as well. I have never had any surgery on my face, no plastic surgery at all ever. Um, I do like Botox. I don't actually have any in right now. My forehead Botox is all worn off. Well, almost all worn off, but you can see I have movement there. I used to get Botox in my crow's feet, but currently I'm testing a device, a little laser device to see if we can get rid of those or at least reduce them a little bit. So no Botox, no filler. Haven't gotten filler in about seven or eight years. Had it once or twice, but not a lot. I've had a couple of laser treatments um, and some other things that you can hear about in that video. And of course, links for all the products will be in the info box below the video for quick and easy shopping. I do use a couple of gadgets in my skincare routine. I have two things that I use in the morning, but I don't use them on the same day, so I alternate days with them. So if it's the day that I'm using my Omnilux mask, let's say, I use this first thing in the morning, I put it on, when I'm still in bed, I don't get up and wash my face. I still have my skincare on from the night before. This is an LED red light therapy mask, and this has red lights on the inside. You basically just put it on your face and 
lay there with it on there for 10 minutes is a very passive treatment. You don't have to do any skincare with it. Red and near infrared light at certain wavelengths have been shown in studies to increase the collagen in your skin and increase collagen density in your skin. So these really work and this mask, the Omnilux, is made by the company that makes the big clinical versions of this that they use in dermatologists' offices. I noticed a difference in my skin within two weeks of starting using this. Like, there isn't anything else that I used for two weeks and was like, oh my gosh, I think I see a difference in my skin already. My pores are smaller, my skin's firmer, my wrinkles are like reducing. I was so shocked because, <laughs> you know, anti-aging skincare takes time. It takes time to undo 50 years of sun damage. You can't expect it to work like overnight and really nothing does, but this was the fastest anti-aging I have ever seen without going to a dermatologist's office to have like my face laser or something. This was really just such a pleasant surprise and awesome. So I've been using this for about two years now. I do have a 10% off code with Omnilux for any of their masks. It's HF10. So you put that in at checkout, we'll get you 10% off on your masks. So I use my Omnilux masks while I'm still laying in bed. Then I wash my face. Currently I'm using the Derma E Sensitive Skin Cleanser and I really like this. They sent me this in PR a couple of months ago. This has calming and soothing ingredients in it. I don't use any facial cleansers that foam up or that are gonna strip my skin. That's really important to me that they're very mild and very gentle. And now that we're going into the fall months and my skin is feeling drier, this has just helped it to feel more moisturized. On the days that I don't use my Omnilux mask, I do a new face treatment. So after I wash my face, I leave the water on my face. I just pat dry like my eyes and under my chin and I leave the rest of my face wet. This needs a gel for it to conduct the microcurrent. New Face is a microcurrent device. So my favorite gel is the New Face Hydrating Aqua Gel. So I take a pump of this on a brush and I brush it on my face and I love this one. It's the best one. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't like burn my eyes or anything. And then I go in and do my new face treatment with it. I like to leave the water on my face so that it keeps the gel wetter longer so that I can finish up my treatment with one coating of gel. Microcurrent helps your skin produce more ATP, which is kind of like the energy that your cells need in your skin to be more active, to do more, to repair your skin better, and then it can produce more collagen, more elastin, it can be firmer, and your skin barrier can be healthier and more intact. So this treatment takes about 10 minutes to do. I've been using this for, I want to say, eight years now of, say, the 40 or 50 gadgets that I've tried, there are three that are still in my skincare routine. So, you know, it says something when I try a gadget, I do the before and after, I see enough of a result in my skin that I want to stick with it over time. This just helps to like lift everything. It actually helps to lift my hooded eyes. It lifts my cheeks and makes them look plumper. It lifts my jaw. It's a very subtle effect, but I can see the difference and I can especially see the difference if I like stop using this, let's say for a couple weeks. I'm like, ooh, wow, what happened? Oh my gosh, better get back to the new face. Ooh, and I wanted to let you guys know I have a new discount code on the new face Trinity for $135 off. This is amazing, unheard of deal. It's through Current Body. If you use my code HFNF205, you can get the new face for $135 off. This is an exclusive code just for me and you guys. So I'll put that in the info box below the video with a link to the new face on Current Body. I'm not sure how long it will last, but I will get the end date from them and put it in the info box as well. So jump on that. You can rub the gel in, but for me, I don't wanna do that because I want all my other active ingredients to be penetrating the best they can. So I don't want a layer of gel in the way. So I use a little washcloth called the Wonder Cloth. I wipe the gel off and then I'll splash my face with water and towel dry again. Then I'll go in with my skincare routine, which is seven steps currently, don't be afraid. It doesn't take a long time. I rapid fire them on. So the first thing that I go in with is my vitamin C serum. This is the Timeless Vitamin C plus E plus Ferulic Acid Serum. I put this on my entire face, avoiding my eyelids and my lips and I run this down my neck and on my chest, and then I take another squirt on the back of my hands and I rub the backs of my hands together. 
Be sure that you put all your skincare on your neck, on your chest, and on the backs of your hands. Now, not all vitamin C serums are the same. You have to be very, very careful when selecting a vitamin C serum. It has to be formulated at the right pH to even get into your skin. It has to be formulated with the right amount of vitamin C. It has to be formulated with the right kind of vitamin C. And it has to be formulated with a couple of other antioxidants to help it to do its job better. So vitamin C is an antioxidant and it fights free radicals that basically destroy your collagen, destroy your elastin, break down the stuff that makes your skin youthful and plump and juicy looking, and you don't want that. There are a couple other vitamin C serums that I do like a lot. I like the May Love one. I like the Geek and Gorgeous one. I like the Dr. Brenner's. So I will link them all below, but this is my favorite. And if you're a first time customer of Timeless, you get $5 off if you use my link. All right, so the next serum I use is my Ordinary 10% Lactic Acid plus 2% Hyaluronic Acid. I put a few drops of this in my hands, rub it all over my face, and my neck and chest and backs of hands as well. And this is an exfoliator. Uh, lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. It's in the same family as glycolic acid. I don't use glycolic acid in my skincare routine. It's too harsh for my skin. As I said, my skin's a little sensitive, so I use lactic. The other thing that I love about lactic acid is that it's kind of a multitasker because not only does it exfoliate your skin, but it also helps your skin to produce more ceramides, which are fatty lipids that help your skin look plump and firmer. So it's a win-win with this one. I love it. You can put the lactic acid on first and then put on the vitamin C serum. It doesn't really matter which order you put them on, but I like to put them on together because they're both acids and they both have to be formulated at a lower pH. So they're very simpatico together. They work well together because they're at a lower pH. All right, next up is my Timeless CoQ10 serum. This is another fantastic little serum. Love this one. This has another antioxidant in it, which which is CoQ10, but it works completely differently from vitamin C and the other antioxidants. This one gives your skin energy. This one feeds the mitochondria and generates more ATP in your skin, just like the new face. So this is another place to give your skin cells more energy. What I love about this product is that it's inexpensive, it's under $30, and it contains three powerhouse active ingredients. It's got the CoQ10 in there, it's got Matrixyl 3000 in there. Matrixyl is another ingredient that helps to repair and restructure your collagen because you know the name of the anti-aging game is collagen. So everything that helps helps your collagen to stay strong and intact as we get older is for the good. And the other ingredient in here is hyaluronic acid. And just about everything that I'm showing you today has hyaluronic acid in it. So you'll notice that I'm not using a separate hyaluronic acid serum. I just don't believe that there's any need for it because my vitamin C has hyaluronic acid in it. My lactic acid serum has hyaluronic acid in it. My CoQ10 serum has hyaluronic acid in it. My moisturizer has hyaluronic acid in it. Even my sunscreen has hyaluronic acid. So by the time I'm getting it in in seven products, I don't need a separate hyaluronic acid product. Then I put on a little spot treatment. This is my dark spot formula from Agency. This contains my hydroquinone and it also has three other active ingredients. So I just take the tiniest little bit of this. I have some um, age spots up here that I'm fading with this. Also over here, I put it down my nose and on the fronts of my cheeks where I tend to be a little bit red because this has four anti-redness, anti-brown age spot active ingredients in it. I am an ambassador for Agency, but but this video is not sponsored by them. So my next step is to put on my facial moisturizer. This product has changed for years. I've been using the CeraVe PM. I love this product, but now that it is getting a little bit cooler and the air is drier, I decided that I needed something a little bit thicker than this. And so I have been trying this Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Moisturizer, and I really, really love this cream. This contains all the same ingredients that this has. It's got niacinamide, it's got three ceramides, it's got cholesterol, it's got hyaluronic acid, but it also brings a couple other ingredients to the table. It's got some peptides in it. It also has shea butter, so it's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more moisturizing. It just keeps my skin so moisturized and great looking. And the other thing I like about it is that 
it has more of a matte finish than the CeraVe. This is a little shiny on me. And then since it is fall and this is the time of year that my neck gets a little bit more sensitive, so I have to cut back on my active ingredients on my neck, I also have to add in a separate neck cream to keep my neck nice and calm. So for that, I use my Derma E Eczema Repair Cream. And this is a fantastic cream for calming irritated skin. So if you are starting with the routine and you're getting a little irritated, use this as your moisturizer. This just keeps my neck so calm and so soothed. But if you don't have irritated skin, then you don't need to use this. You can just go ahead and use the Pacifica. And then the last step in the morning is of course sunscreen. You should not be doing any of these other active ingredients unless you're also gonna wear sunscreen every day. My favorite right now is this undefined r and sunscreen, but I have a whole sunscreen wardrobe. <laughs> I wear different sunscreens depending on what I'm doing, where I'm going, what kind of makeup I'm wearing, what mood I'm in. I love this one. It's an all mineral SPF 50 with a PA++++ rating, which means that they've tested it for UVA protection separately from UVB. This is very lightweight and fluid. It's got some oils in it like squalane. And so it keeps my skin really, really hydrated. And I love it, especially in the winter because it's so much more hydrating than my other sunscreens. And it's so lightweight. It just glides right over the skin. It looks fantastic and it works so well under makeup. So this is really my like all day, every day sunscreen. But the point about sunscreen is that it doesn't matter to me what sunscreen you wear, as long as you find one that you love that works for your skin and you love it so much that you're willing to put it on every single day. All right, so that is my entire morning skincare routine. What you'll notice about everything that I use is that they are all fragrance free. They're all alcohol free and they are all packed with multiple active ingredients and they are all relatively inexpensive. With everything being like under 30 bucks, it really works out. They last for months, so it's not a huge cash outlay. But as I said before, if you are new to the skincare routine and you're gonna start it, definitely start in slowly, especially with the acids. Use them maybe only once a week or so to start and make sure that your skin is adjusting to them slowly because you don't want your skin to get mad at you and then complain and then you're gonna look terrible. You want your skin to look great while you're doing this and then you wanna go out and have people go like, wow, what's, what's going on with your skin? Why, why do you suddenly look so good? And you'll be like, ooh, I started a new skincare routine and it is amazing. So I hope you have the same great results with it that I did and that a lot of my followers have as well. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful and informative, go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.